Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is your weekly reading. This is a general reading. So if it resonates for you, I highly recommend you checking out your moon rising and Venus signs. There is no extended for this. Also, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share button. It helps other people see my video, and I really appreciate it. So I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'll pull some oracle cards, and I'll pull some tarot cards, and we'll hop right into your reading. Community, it's looking like you're branching out, happy, happy. By doing this, branching out and finding your people, finding your tribe, it's really, um, it's really creating a stable foundation for you to be around people with like-minded poise. And what you're not seeing is poise. Being around like-minded people. It's causing a lot of happiness. This community, this it's creating a stability that I don't think that you're 100% aware of. So I, I feel the direction of this reading right off the bat, and I feel like we're going into the direction of um, not so much work, but personal relationships, and not so much a relationship, but just finding your people, finding your connections, finding like your purpose. It's more than, it's not, it's not so much your job, but your purpose. Community. I feel like you might have resisted going out and really building your tribe for a long time and now you're, you're, you're doing it. And this is something new. You're finding your happiness. You've really dug deep and you're like, you know what, if this doesn't feel good, I'm not going to do it. Well, and these cards won't come out, so I'm going to take them. <clears throat> this is going to happen fast. So it's like, again, celebrating with people. It's almost like maybe you get invited to a party. So you're building box blocks, you're creating something. It's like you get invited to like some sort of party or family function or something like that. And normally you wouldn't do it, but you actually do. You go and you, and you really enjoy yourself and you find, oh my gosh, all these people are very similar to me. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how much I like these people, how much I enjoy this. which you're not seeing you're breaking out of your your shell again so it's like look at these cards it's kind of cool this person's like free and this person's like removing any blockages is what you're not seeing that's really really neat you're opening yourself to new possibilities by stopping resisting going out. I feel like maybe, I don't know if it was COVID or maybe you had social anxiety or whatever it was, but you just kind of feel like things are missing in your life. Or maybe you were in a relationship and you weren't able to do that type of stuff before because the other person didn't want to do it, but it's like now you're free. Now you're capable. Your energy, nine of cups, six of pentacles, and a page of swords. I feel like you might have been lying to yourself about things that you liked. Because I, I feel like either A, you lied to yourself because of the person that you were with and so you just like made yourself mesh with them and did the, the things that they liked, or or you really truly thought that those were things that you didn't like because maybe somebody when you were younger said, oh, you know, I, I used to have somebody who would be like, Crystal's not a packer. Crystal's not this. Crystal's not that. And I would sit there and I'd be like, well, you know, I'm not a packer or I'm not that or I'm not this. And then I sit there and I'm like, you know what? I am a packer. Like, I can make a ton of stuff fit in the back of my van. And it looks like Tetris. Like, I do just fine. I am I am a packer. Like, I, I let other people's words be who I was for a long time. And I feel like that might have been the case with you. And so the energy around, or the universe's energy, Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Emotions, which is Queen of Cups, and Nine of Pentacles, which is basically the Minor Arcana Empress. So right off the bat, I am seeing here the only Major Arcana that was pulled was the Wheel of Fortune, because I feel like the universe kind of lets you control your life for a while, and lets you let you be who you wanted to be so that you could discover yourself. And I, I don't I don't feel so much that the universe is stepping in, but I feel like it was like only a matter of time. 
I feel like there maybe maybe the universe gave you a little nudge or something like that, but it wasn't a drastic like tower moment movement. The universe that is surrounding or the energies that are surrounding you are lots of love. You get the Ten of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you're engulfed in more love than you actually realize. I feel like you've neglected to feel the love that is around you when it came to your friends. Or I feel like you might have put up a wall for a while preventing yourself from feeling love. From feeling anything that other than um, love in a relationship. And now that you've seen that you've done that, <clears throat> it's like you're opening up. What you're not seeing is Seven of Cups. Lots of choices. Three of Pentacles. Building something new in the King of Wands and the Strength card and the Devil card. And what's amazing is the only card that can overcome the Devil card in the deck is the Strength card and they're right next to each other. This was a negative trait and you are definitely overcoming it. So the Nine of Cups, your wish about finding balance, about finding your true calling, about finding your purpose. You get Temperance, the Three of Wands, and the Awakening card. It was like you wished and wished and wished, like you prayed to the universe or whoever it was that you prayed to or talked to. You're like, I just want to know what my goal is here. I just want to know what my life purpose is. I just want to know where I need to be to be fulfilled, to find fulfillment in this lifetime. I feel like you might have paid off some karmic debt from your ancestors. There was a lesson that you learned, actually there were two lessons that you learned that were very significant about not letting other people, um, not letting other people's words create who you are. You know, like I was sitting there saying like, oh, Crystal's not a packer. Um, but the fact is like, I am a packer. And these, I feel like these people that said these things about you, I feel like you believed them for a really long time and then it's almost like you see past it now. You see how you were hurting yourself and how you were holding yourself back with other people's words. And the universe is right behind you backing you up on this. Your creativity, your abundance. It was like traditions, family traditions you even stuck with or societal traditions you stuck with. Or you even stuck with commitments with people even past the expiration. Like things expired and you stuck with it, which drained you because they were sucking the life out of you because they had expired. So it's like you're letting things go that are no longer serving you and you're opening yourself up to this new potential right here. You're breaking free of the past attachments. You might have sabotaged yourself in previous relationships in friendships. It was almost like you just stopped talking to them or whatever because it wasn't exactly, you know, this picture-perfect relationship with people. <clears throat> there was, um, maybe you felt like you gave too much and then it was like you felt like they took advantage of you. You felt like they took advantage of you on a regular basis. But now there's this new beginning, there's this new foundation, there's this new path that you need to walk. You have lots of choices here. You get the seven of cups within your subconscious. I feel like I feel like you're revamping your entire subconscious here. You're seeing um, you might have gone through a dark night of the soul and now you're finally breaking free. Which is great because you have the strength card overcoming the devil card and you have the happy, happy card in your oracle. So this is very much on the same. This is gonna take just a hint of time though. You got Sagittarius time, which really is only like two months away. Sagittarian time, I feel like this really is going to skyrocket your potential, skyrocket your connections. So you have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. You're taking action towards this new abundance, this new... I feel like when people... One of the things that I think that you might do is when people communicate with you or people express themselves with you... I feel like you might, um, it might be painful for you to hear other people's stories, so I feel like you might block that out. But I feel like you need to embrace what people go through and hear what people really have to say. And the advice, 
is the Hermit, the Four of Swords, the Ace of Wands again, the King of Wands again, and the Lover's card. Find your calling. It's like, okay, so the advice is the fact that when you find your calling, it shouldn't be a lot of work. It should come very easy to the point where you almost feel like you're not working at all. It shouldn't be hard to take action. It shouldn't be hard to do what it is. But you need to make a decision. Like, it, it's not going to be hard. If this is something that you is really your true calling and really your passion and really your desire, it's not going to be work. Even when it gets difficult, it's not going to be work. Even when it gets hard, it's not going to be work. This is, this is about finding your purpose and finding people who are on the same page as you, finding your tribe, finding your calling, finding your connection to other people in this lifetime. So thank you so much, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share button, and a couple of videos are going to pop up here. If the title resonates for you, I highly recommend you check them out, and I will see you over there.